Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome this back to the. This is the story of a man. Welcome to the Stanley Parable again. Uh, as you can see, I from fix the resolution uh, glitch thing. All of his um, co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm gonna see what in else in this I can get. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. When Stanley okay. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, what happens if I actually go this on that This was not the correct way to the bully wasn't five years ago. Actually, what happens if I jump? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story <laughs> and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay. Okay, I'm going to actually go on that cargo list now. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had uh. taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. <laughs> okay, so it's different now. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, okay, really. I'm I'm not. I realize that investing now. your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Who's that? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's Ooh. been waiting. Who? Um, Dark Moon? Uh, Ooh. That's her, Stanley. Um. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay. I pick up the phone. What happens now? Oh, Stanley, is that you? What? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh. Alrighty. Okay, uh, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. Oh, really? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Get moved. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Uh, no. Sorry, but you're in my story now. Uh, okay. Looks like I have no choice. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Excuse me, what? Press and you, um... Stanley is quite okay. a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Uh, press M. Look at him there, pushing buttons, <laughs> doing exactly what he's told to do. Now Wait. he's pushing a button. Now he's eating Different? lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press zero. Oh. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Really? See to TV. Ooh, okay. And so he began but to fantasize about his own job. What? First, he Where imagined that go? one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, 
everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the um. earth. The thought excited him terribly. Uh, so he went further. Uh. He imagined that he came to two open doors Imagine? and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost here? too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy what? world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. What and down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. <laughs> and he called it the Stanley Parable. Okay. Uh. It was such a wonderful uh. fantasy. Mm. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Mm. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Um, okay. well. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Um. And I'm trying but to tell I'm you this, this that in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, mm. watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Not gonna push anything. Not gonna push in. Um, narrator. Hello. Um, looks like I have to push in to advance the story. You see? Ooh. Can he just not hear okay. me? How can I tell him in a way uh. that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Question nothing. Uh, okay. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. Mm. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Uh -huh. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Um, okay. And I tried again. Wait, and what? Stanley pushed a button. Um, and I tried again. Brief that and what? Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Uh. Um, sure. What is. What? Oh, what the. What the. All of his co workers were gone. Here? What could it mean? Stanley decided uh, to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? Um. What? How can I go there? Maybe. No. Uh. No. I need to No. I need to stop sticking on doors. What? the heck happened here when stanley came to a set of two open doors he entered the door on his left what if i go down in, on the way to the boss's office i'm gonna check what happens then coming to a staircase nope. stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office nope and ooh, a but stanley just couldn't Can do I it he nope. considered the possibility of facing his boss, nope. admitting he had left his post One during work B4. hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Uh. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. What? All of my co-workers no, blinking mysteriously crazy. out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. 
And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when uh, he looked down? Okay. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Uh, and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Yet were they da. simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too I strange, this can't like be real. Five times. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Um. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy mm. after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. Uh, I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job I pushing need. buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Okay. So, uh. he imagined himself flying and began to gently Whoa. float above the ground. Uh, okay. Then he That's imagined cool. himself soaring mm -hmm. through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Whoa. It was so okay. much fun, and Stanley um. marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Light. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. I'm curious. Why is there a voice in my head oh, dictating don't. everything Please that I'm doing do and thinking? Don't. Now the voice was describing no, itself being considered by Stanley, don't who found it particularly strange. I'm don't. dreaming about a voice Stop. describing no, me, no, thinking about how it's head. describing my don't. thoughts, he thought. Don't. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth no. was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? This is, this is Stanley a, is as fee. awake right it's now like as he's ever been in his life. Forever. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This uh, voice was a part of himself too, surely, no, surely, no, if he could just... No. He would prove it. He would prove uh -huh. that he was in control, that this was a dream. Uh, cool. So he closed his eyes gently, and he Ooh. invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, okay. the press of the mattress on his back. The fresh yes, air of a it. world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife mm. and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Okay. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. So are we gonna wake up in a apartment? Um, this is a bad, right? No, this Stanley is bad. Stanley began screaming. Oh no! Please, someone, wake me up! Uh, My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an uh, office. I am real. Please, uh, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? 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 This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Excuse me. What? Who's Mary? Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Uh, what she happened rose, to Stanley? She got dressed, what? gathered her belongings, and walked uh, to her place of work. But on this particular day, uh, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking yes, and screaming to himself, that. and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, uh, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, Isn't she that thought the to herself the... how lucky she was Wait. to be normal. Yeah, that's the I am from the... I am hmm. in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Good for you, Maria. Then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. 
the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life. Wait, wait she a minute. No time for this. How? So it was only a moment How that she stood the there staring down the at the body. The and then the she other turned person and ran. Now. How is the narrator, narrator Mariela? If what just what? And I back here. Um, Wait, Stanley thought to himself. What? Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely uh, I was mistaken. Uh, okay, I just wanna. No, see. no, the orders were still missing. For now. That was kind of odd. Um, okay, so apparently uh, Stanley is crazy now. He said this the same to computer. Okay. I remember in the first episode of this, um, there was a way to escape while. He Going to the when Stanley came to a set um, of two open doors, he entered facility. the door on his left. So I'm gonna check what's up with that. Okay, so I'm back here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm gonna go to the escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? I don't believe you. I the door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I'm gonna go to the escape. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. You are lying to me. I know it. You are lying to me. Um. Uh, loading what what just okay so we fell are we gonna where are we um, as the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to uh, his demise, he reflected that his um, life had been of no consequence I, whatsoever. I get, Stanley can't uh, see the bigger picture. He um, doesn't know the real uh, story, trapped forever in his narrow um, vision of what this could be. Uh, Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like uh, plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent uh, end to his brief and shallow life. Then, uh, 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 uh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Ooh. Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Who are you? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, um, killing no. him instantly. I'm the um, uh, the Stanley fed up. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. Um, what exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Uh, okay. If when every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Wait, what? From the moment he hit start? Nature paintings. I don't I haven't seen this thing, but I'm pretty sure I have seen the other. Stanley's computer. Is this like a museum or something? What? Corridor? What? It's computer. Wow. 
What is happening? What is the sound? I like the last one. Um, door. This is weird. Credits. What is happening? Main first room. I'm the elevation of the main first room. Main. Uh, an early version so is there like a shiny parable beta or something because I would like to check that oh green light ooh this more sand less sand yeah my green um uh um Okay, the launch, an early version. I would like to check out the early version. There is a skating inside of you. There are more skaters in this world than humans. I really want to know. Huh? Um, the secretary may die. This is super weird. Uh, what? But the apartment timer? Um, If I in here, uh, time to pick up the phone of them will lead to a different exit. The cargo list. The meeting room. One option key, one option launch, Vegas, OB, to confusion ending. Confusion ending. Um, to confusion ending. What's the confusion? What about this? Went. It's a went. Made a first choice. Okay. I can go to a lunch and there's a went there. And there's a confusion ending. Maintenance. Is that the thing when I go to the uh, other door? Uh, Cindy Levers. Uh, what um, where would this guy, what color levers they had called? Sending. Sending model. Escape room. I'm actually gonna check out the um what I think I'm actually gonna check out the um, old thing old Stanley parable because that sounds um pretty um interesting and I'm sure that there's something over there too. Okay, what is that? What is that okay. freedom ending and <laughs> uh, oh look at these two how they wish to destroy one another how they wish to control I one another how they both one. wish to be free um wish to be free um oh can you see can you see how much they need one another? Um, no, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. 
Um, okay. But listen to me. Uh, you can still see uh, I'm you back two. here. You can again. stop the what programming before they both fail. Push For escape and press quit. Uh, There's no other way to beat this game. As what? long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Um, Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Um, Whatever you do, choose it. Uh, Don't let time choose for you. Don't uh, um uh, ye uh I'm gonna um yeah quit to menu. Uh okay I think that's gonna do it for this video of Stanley Parable. Um until the next video, see ya see ya.